Hello all, welcome to SOLIDWORKS Tutorials. In this video, we'll see the design process of a planetary gear mechanism. In general, planetary gear has a sun gear which is a driver gear and there are planet gears which are driven gears. Without further ado, let us see the design of planetary gear mechanism. I'm gonna go and create a new file. This time instead of selecting part, I will choose assembly. So here we have design canvas and uh, as we selected assembly, it is asking us to select a part. Here I'm not going to select any part. So I'm going to click cancel and I'll cancel this too. Now go to sketch and under sketch, click on sketch and uh, go to the design tree here and select the front plane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle on front plane. So I'm going to draw a circle and then go to smart dimension and give dimension to this as 80 mm. Click OK. Now select offset entities. Click on this circle. Make sure that it is reversed. And uh, the distance is going to be the offset distance is going to be twenty. Now we have two circles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle here. So for that, exit smart dimension and click on circle here and draw a circle anywhere in this area. Click OK. Now you can simply give a radius of uh, 10 mm here or you can add relations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add relations. This all circle is already selected so I'm going to go and select this circle and make it tangent. Now I added a relation saying that this circle is tangent to this circle. Click OK. Now select this circle again and press Ctrl and select the other circle, outer circle and make tangent. Click OK. Now the circle is not defined yet, not fully defined yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a relation here. Select this point and uh, select this point here and make it vertical. Click OK. Now the sketch is fully defined. I'll select circular sketch pattern here. So select this circle. Here we need only three instances. So enter three and click OK. Now we have three circles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add relation to this and to this circle saying that they are horizontal. Click OK and add a relation to this circle and this circle saying that they are tangent. Now the sketch is fully defined. So now we have uh, the basic uh, profile for the planetary gear mechanism. What I'm going to do is uh, I will add a reference plane and axis to this drawing. So go to assembly, exit the sketch go to assembly and under reference geometry click on reference geometry here under reference geometry select a plane now we are going to add a plane here reference plane and that plane is going to be front plane click on this design tree symbol here and select front plane it says fully defined so click ok now i'm gonna add axis temporary axis to these three circles and this circle here Click on reference geometry again and click on axis. Now select this line. So we got the axis here and there is already a reference plane, which is front plane selected. So click OK. Now do the same thing for other three. Select this axis and uh, select the front plane. Click OK. Axis, 
select this point here select the front plane okay and do the same for last one select the point and select the front plane and click ok now we have access for all the three circles and the main circle too but we can't see it because it is hidden you can show the axis by simply clicking on this option here now we can see all the three axes what we're gonna do is we are gonna add gears to this profile go to the design library here and click on toolbox click on add in now go to ANSI metric and under ANSI metric you can see power transmission in power transmission under gears you can select a spur gear drag that spur gear onto the design canvas and here we are gonna edit the part the number of teeth is going to be 20 and the face width is going to be 10 the pressure angle will keep it the same the module is going to be to nominal shaft diameter 10 is fine for nominal shaft diameter click ok we only need a single gear for the center one which is a sun gear so I'm gonna press escape now we have one gear here and I'm gonna align this gear to the axis here which is mating so click on mate select this face of the gear and select this axis before that make sure to change this usually the part is fixed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it float so click on float by right clicking on the body click on mate select this face and select this axis it's going to be concentric and I'm gonna mate this face of the gear to the front plane so click on this face and go to design tree and select front face or front plane now we have mated this face to the front plane I'm gonna add more gears which are planet gears go to design library again and get a spur gear onto the design canvas now we will change the properties the module is going to be same it which is 2 and the number of teeth we are going to keep it as 10 so select 10 as the number of teeth the face width is going to be same nominal shaft diameter is going to be same and click ok now we need three of these gears so select one gear and the last one and press escape now I'm gonna align these gears to their respective slots select mate and click on this face and select this axis select this face and this axis select this face and this axis now I'm gonna mate this face of the gear to the front plane so click on this face and select front plane click OK click on this face and select front plane click OK and finally click on this face and select front plane click OK now that we have all the gears arranged properly so I'm gonna exit the mating process so here we have the basic structure of a planetary gear mechanism we still have a lot to do so go to design library select internal spur gear
the module is going to be 2 and the number of teeth is going to be 40. Select 40 and face, face width is going to be 10. Click OK. and press escape now we have a internal spur gear here right click on this and select open part now we are going to edit this uh, internal spur gear as per our convenience you will usually see this message popping up you are about to make changes to the following read only documents click ok now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna extend this surface so select the front view click on sketch press sketch and select this face so we are going to draw a circle here draw a circle which is exactly which has the same radius as the internal spur gear and uh, now I'm gonna select offset entities select the circle and keep the offset distance as 5 click ok now i'm going to use extruded boss or base option here you can see the extruded part is towards this side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the direction or you can simply press this button here and make sure that it is through all instead of blind and press ok Now we'll go to isometric view. So here is the isometric view. And I'm going to change the appearance a little bit. So click on the appearances here. And select color. Plastic. High gloss. I'm going to change this to red. Body. Yeah. So we are done changing the color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change or delete this mate references here. Otherwise, we won't be able to assemble it properly with the planetary gears. Now, this sketch is fine. So I'm going to save this. Um, I'll go with a new folder here. So select desktop, uh, SolidWorks practice. Um, I'll change it to AM1. Okay. Now without closing this, just open the assembly. Now we have the editor planetary gear or internal spur gear here display the hidden axis now I'm gonna meet this internal spur gear with the planetary gears here so go to meet select this face and select the central axis now they are concentric to each other and and I'm gonna meet this face with front plane now hide the central axis and I'm gonna hide the sketch too okay now go to the front view here we have all the gears aligned properly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this little bit and align them properly all right now we are done with aligning the gears so I'm going to go with the uh, isometric view to have a clear view. I'm going to change colors for this. So go to appearance again. Uh, I'll have blue here. And select the body. Now for this gears, I'm going to give some very nice color. Let's say green.
go to front view so here we have the basic arrangement of planetary gears now i'm gonna see the motion study for this here first we'll add motor select motor and the motor axis is going to be here so select this face and uh, the speed i'm going to give it as uh, 5 rpm click ok now check this option which is contacts and select the whole body whole assembly and click ok I'm going to increase, I'm going to select all the body, the whole body and I'm going to increase the time here. Also make sure that here the basic motion is selected instead of animation. I'm going to reduce the speed to 0.5x so that we can see the movement of gears properly. And uh, I'm going to press play. Now save this file, save as planetary gear assembly. Now we need to save all these things. So I'll save it as AM1. As we made changes to the gears here, we need to save them as new files instead of using the old files because once we try to access the assembly, we won't be able to uh, access the part as it is in read-only mode. So you need to save it as a new part so that you can use it in future too. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Bye-bye.